on guys, Bruce here, welcome back to the channel. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now before we get too far into this video because we have a lot of action-packed stuff happening. So, hope everyone's having an amazing Memorial Day weekend. It's currently Sunday. Uh, if you guys are having a good time, make sure you're safe. No drinking and driving, nothing stupid and crazy like that. Anyhow, I'm about to head up to the shop. I bought another flatbed Cummins. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. And I also have someone delivering a sport bumper to go on it. It's a 94 five-speed 12 valve 3500 dually. So anyways, I uh, found a sport bumper and grill. Sorry, a mosquito bit me on the head or something there. Anyways, a sport bumper, grill, and bumper. Wow. Sport bumper and grill to go on the truck. It's being delivered now. Um, so we're going to head to the shop, meet them to pick that up. I'm going to show you guys what the truck looks like. But over this past week, I know I've been extremely busy. We've had a lot of things going on, getting ready for a Daytona truck meet and the Gold Rush project. See so the old muskrat here in the background, kind of looking a little pitiful underneath the tree. But anyhow, uh, sorry I've been out of it. I haven't got any videos uploaded, but I've got a couple things done with the flatbed. I got some new audio put in it and stuff like that. But for now, we're gonna head up to the shop, get this sport bumper and grill purchased off this guy, and show you the new truck that I bought. And we're probably gonna rip it in the flatbed a little bit. Memory of Memorial Day, so let's head to the shop. All right, so I made, so I made it here to the shop. Someone put a nice fresh new burnout in the parking lot. And got the sweet sport bumper picked up. It's gonna take a little bit of work, but all in all, it's perfect. There's no rust, no major dents, gouges, nothing like that. It's got kind of a little dent there. We can kind of bend that back out and make it work. But to the best part of the whole video, the new flatbed. This thing's got some sweet old Bucky Beaver ground grippers on it right here, guys. For anybody that knows what these are, these are some good old Power Kings. You don't see these tires too often. I think they're brand new. Yeah, they don't look bad. Got some good tread on them front and rear. I had Richard go ahead and pull the headliner out. Just like the flatbed headliner, it's completely trashed. So I'm going to go ahead and get that redone. Maybe order some new uh, uh, window striping there. We're going to go ahead and get it repainted thinking about keeping this one as a tow rig not quite sure yet that man she's sweet it's an original 94 full drive flatbed we're gonna get this chrome front end ripped off of it and get the sport bumper and grill installed all in all there's no rust anywhere this truck is in really amazing amazing shape the only downfall is interior is definitely seen better days richard already uh dick as everyone knows him by actually has got the seats unbolted i've got some other seats it is a laramie truck so it does have power seats and cruise control and whatnot but anyhow we're gonna get everything ripped out and get the new dash to go in it and a couple other things and get this truck all fixed up so we can start using it the flatbed's in good shape the side boxes are even in good shape the truck really doesn't need much just some tlc we're gonna get it all fixed up but right quick i want you guys to check out these videos from the other day from when i got the flatbed a new sound system in it and a couple other things, so check that out right quick. Good morning YouTube family. Uh, it is a bright early Friday morning. Usually not my thing to get up early, but I am currently headed to drop the flatty off to get some audio work. Yes. Um, I've got two crazy subwoofers in the back seat, which are insanely loud when I want them to be. But I don't have any like mids or highs. The factory tweeters, which are back behind here, you kind of see them over there. Uh, they're about blown. The factory rear door speakers are kind of non-existent and the front speakers I did put some new ones in there, but they're still not like I want so I'm dropping the truck off at OTC audio uh, Here in Silver Hills. He's gonna do some mids and highs in the truck And get us some new wires ran to the amp And get us a base knob put in the truck at the same time Even though the truck is a fun street truck. I still would like to have some quality audio in it it's, you wouldn't be you'd be surprised if you open the door in one of these old trucks and actually had decent sounding audio so that's kind of the goal here but lots of big things happening today the uh, armageddon truck
truck in the shop. We got a new injection pump on it. We're gonna get it fired up today. But for now, we're gonna head up to OTC Audio, get the truck dropped off, and let him get started on it. All right, so I made it here to OTC Audio. We're gonna we had to actually modify his door to hopefully get the flatbed pulled in because the rack is too high. So we're gonna try to get it pulled inside the shop because here in Florida, it does like to rain a lot. So we don't want it the truck's in outside while I try to do audio work on it and it raining. So I'm gonna give you guys a preview of what's going in the truck. We got ARC audio mids. Actually, component speakers. I'm sorry, I'm new to this. We got brand new tweeters going in it. You can see right there with the crossovers, along with get this thing dug out of here. Some mid speakers going in the front doors, so we can get a lot of sound out of this bad girl. And then for the back, I don't know if you guys got to see that very well. We got mids going in the front doors along with tweeters. And then for the back doors, we've got some Memphis Audio high reference speakers. So the fac factory back door speakers are five and a quarter. So that's what we're putting back in it for now. These little bad girls. So anything's gonna be better than the factory speakers that were in the truck already. He's also gonna rewire the sub and amp because whenever I did it I was in a rush and went to Walmart and bought just some cheapy wire and stuff like that so we've got some badass wiring gonna be redoing the amp wiring in the truck so I'm filming on my phone I just happened to stop by real quick GoPro's at the shop he's got what's this stuff MDF right yeah so MDF cut out to go in place where the six by nines are for these highs we're gonna sit just like that inside there nice and neat I got the tweeters mounted right there, as you can see. That's pretty freaking bitching, actually. They're gonna run out the crossover right here somewhere. Looking good so far. We're gonna dip out Ray Ray's Mustang and go pick up some car parts. So I'm down here in Tampa, I figured I'd surprise Ray Ray. He's been helping me out tremendously, working more hours than he absolutely needs to. And his Mustang needs tires so freaking bad, it's not even funny. Those are bald. So I told him I was driving it to Tampa. Well, I'm gonna surprise him. I stopped here at Tread Max in Tampa picking up some brand new tires and go get them thrown on the sweet uh, hood wrap machine. And surprise him back at the shop. This place has an amazing amount of tires. This is insane. So we're picking them up, nothing but the best in Toyos. Yeah, that's gonna look good. So got the flatty picked up. He's kind of seen in the beginning of the video where we we're putting mids and highs in the truck and some new tweeters. He's got everything hidden, so it literally looks factory behind the door panels and everything. I've got to get a new cover to go over my fuse, fuse discombobulation there. He also moved my amp from where it was at. Uh, had my amp kind of back here, kind of just rigged up and uh, not looking cool. So then that guy, the guy over at OTC mounted the amp on the wall back here. I've got the sweet cover that goes over it. And he rerouted all of my wires and ran new ground and power and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely appreciating that. So anyhow, that looks all nice and neat, all mounted up in the, behind the flatty back seat. So for now, pretty much it on the sound i'm gonna do like a quick blip of a song and you're probably gonna be able to tell the quality and for copyright purposes we can't do too much so really quick up church so pass me that and let's start and that's it sorry guys that's about all we can play like i said due to copyright stuff anywho uh, we got a leaking rear seal i think the axle is actually leaking so we gotta get that fixed another day that's yeah, good for right now when it stops leaking we'll probably fix it because got none in it all right so you've seen all the cool audio stuff i finally got for the flatbed i think it sounds a hundred times better sorry i couldn't play any music really much longer than i did just because um you know the copyright bullshit so anyhow so we've got dora the explorer as you see here in the background i've been talking with Mark over at Truck Central. We've been trying to figure out what we want to do with this thing. I am going to be doing a video sometime this week um, 
of us completely destroying the clutch because South Bend clutch has completely hooked us up with a badass performance clutch to go in this drift machine. Um, and the new shop is going to have us some actually place to do drifting and fun stuff with it. So drop some comments down below if you guys want to see what and what you want to see us doing with the door of the Explorer with Truck Central. We're going to be working together to try to make some pretty cool things happen. Maybe getting Cletus in here to drive it. Not sure yet. Working with him. He's kind of a pain in the ass to get a hold of sometimes. But anyhow, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think you want to see us doing with Dora the Explorer. What is happening with this back row? For some of you who don't know what it is, Tavarish and uh, B is for Build actually built this thing and did like a semi, like a truck or car challenge for under like 500 bucks, something crazy. So they lowered it changed the exhaust did a couple things and they also put this badass drift drift brake in it and it is a manual v6 4 liter so yeah like i said drop a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see us do with that also i am so super stoked about the new flatbed work truck to go along and match the flatty we're probably gonna paint it white but we might paint it to match my flatty so not too sure on what we're gonna do there so lots of big things coming up this week. We've got the Gold Rush drag truck we're just going together this week so we can be at Daytona with it Thursday night or Friday. Uh, that's some crazy stuff. The flatbed's got a freaking axle leak. Got to fix that. Kind of been putting it off, figuring maybe, yeah, once it stops leaking, I'll probably fix it because there's probably no oil left in it. But anyhow, I'm going to go find a place to do a sweet-ass burnout with the flatbed because it's fucking Memorial Day. And what's more American? Then a god dang burnout, boys. Well, we were going to do a burnout right in front of the shop, but it's kind of um, not burnout appropriate road, so... There was a... Uh, Popo drove by, so we're going to go see where he went. We're going to do anything stupid. Nothing too crazy. A little bit of a rolling burnout, huh? Not bad for a no nitrous run. Oh, you know, just an old farm truck. So I don't know about some of y'all boys, but I don't too much dip or none of that stuff. I do spit me some goddamn old sunflower seeds like a baseball player. But look at that fresh rubber, boys. Goddamn. <laughs> I'll tell you what, 
I'll tell you what, that is some goddamn rubber right there. Goddamn. Look, would you look at that? Maybe even a little bit of soot marks from an old tailpipus on this county road in Mexico. That's what I'm talking about. So if you guys are as ramped up about this weekend and Daytona coming next week, hit that like button, drop a comment down below and all the crazy stuff happening this week. I will be posting. You can hold me to... I mean, spit my goddamn seeds out. <clears throat> Got some seed juice going down the wrong pipe. You guys can hold me to it. I will be posting a video every day this week. Be watching on Truck Central and my channel for Dora the Explorer in one of the following days. And guys, make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and be looking for a lot more badass content coming out of Bruce Wilson and this channel on this coming week. Catch you guys later. Peace out.